Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, in this video, we'll be turning the bolt for the bottom bracket fixture. No cones, I promise. Uh, we will be turning cones later <laughs> in uh, probably the next video because you need cones to hold the bottom bracket once the bolt is on there. But no cones in this video. Alright, so uh, here's the first rod I got as a 5 8 rod and here is the, an 11 16 rod and so that's just 1 16 larger than the 5 8 Upon closer inspection of the bolt I noticed it had a cut in it. Um, the cut was about 10 inches down I think. Um, the good news is we don't need this bolt and I always order a little extra anyway so just in case I screw up. <laughs> All right, so um, yeah, we're gonna use the 11 sixteenths, and the reason I'm doing that is because I decided to turn the bolt down to slightly larger diameter than 5 8 uh, This drill you see here, that is a 5 8 drill, and when you use a 5 8 drill to drill a hole, the hole will be a little bit larger. So we're going to use the 11 16th bolt and I'm marking, that's the one I'm marking right now. I'm marking about an inch over and that is for the jaws to have something to grab onto. And so I'm going to cut on this line here and I put a little arrow so that I don't cut it in the wrong place. But I did cut it in the wrong place and this cut you see here is the second time I've I cut the rod, so always get extra. So I cut a smaller rod so that I can test the different size diameters. Uh, interesting thing about the rod is it does not fit through the center hole on the chuck. So now I'm going to make what's called a vertical shear tool. And the reason I'm doing this is because the finish that I got on that rod, uh, it's very rough. It's kind of hard to see in this picture, but um, it's quite rough. So I decided to make this tool and uh, it's really good for uh, mini lathes to get a nice smooth finish. Here's the finish tool, and uh, this slanted edge here is what contacts the work piece. The right side is the vertical shear tool, and the left side is the regular.
I'm marking 40 millimeters in and this is the section that will press fit into the square block. And here you can see I parted it and I thought I was recording but I wasn't. Sorry. Okay, that's it for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week.